So who's ready for round two of the Sephora sales this fall? I do feel like we just did this. And we did, but lucky us, we get a second sale this fall, and this is the Beauty Insider Holiday Bonus Event. And it's two weekends. It starts today. Yes, I'm filming on Friday because I was traveling, but it was my anniversary. Thank you for showing me so much love on my Instagram post where I did a, a then and now post of my husband and I. Yes, we've been married 36 years. It stuns even me. The event starts today, Friday the 26th. It goes through Monday for VIB Rouge and then uh, starts up again on Friday, November 2nd through November 5th for, uh, I guess for VIBs or both VIB Rouge. That's just all it says, in-store or online. Okay, so Yay! Yay us! Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Melissa and today we're going to talk about the Sephora VIB Rouge uh, appreciation event and I thought I would do something a little bit differently than I normally do. Usually I put together a big old wish list of things that are may or may not end up in my cart and I thought Today I would just go online and share with you what I have tagged as my love to items. And there are quite a few things in here. This sale has kind of snuck up on me. All right, so before we get started, you guys had so many great comments on my last video, which thank you so much. Um, and I'm glad to hear that I'm not alone, that I sometimes buy stuff and that it sits in a drawer or in a bag and I don't use it. But uh, today I did break out the new Lorac Pro palette. So many of you are like, yes, do a four looks, one video. So I'll, four looks, one video? So many of you were like, do a four looks, one palette. So I think I will do that. It's going to take me a little bit of time to kind of pull that together. But I did use this today and I love these shadows. So more on that another time, but I just wanted to share with you, that's what I'm wearing on my eyes today, and it felt good. It felt good going in there and dipping my brush into something I know I've had for a little while, and breaking the ice with it, so to speak. So let's jump into the loves list on my Sephora uh, account. And what I've done is I've just gone ahead and sorted this from low to high, because, just because, I didn't know what else to do. It just seemed kind of random otherwise, and maybe it'll be make a little bit more sense to go in this order. The first thing I have on here are a bunch of Sephora Collection nail polishes. And I put these on here, A, I love these colors. I have three colors. I have uh, Losing Control, which is like a deep purple. I have uh, It Girl, which is like a, a reddish mauve almost. It's a it's a really pretty color. And then Cookie Break, which is a nude, which is currently out of stock. So I won't be getting that. So I wanted to try this formula, and I think the Sephora Collection products can be really good and a good value for your money. So I wanted to give this a go. They are $5 a bottle, so it's a relatively low investment and, you know, perk up my collection, which is pretty large, but I do my own nails almost every week, so uh, I will use them. So here we go. That's the first items on my list. Then next up are two other nail care products. One is from Nails Inc., and it's the Superfood Nail and Cuticle Repair Oil. It's $15, and it's, it's really, it is really just uh, a cuticle oil. It's supposed to also help with your nails. My nails are in really bad shape and I'm not really sure why, whether it's because I wore gels for so long and that damaged my nails, but by this time they've all grown out and they're still pretty bad. My thumbs have a tendency to split right down the middle. It's a hot mess. So 
I thought maybe I just need to nourish them a little bit more and try that, so I'm looking at this cuticle oil. The next item is from another product from Nails Inc. It's the Overnight Detox Nail Mask. Now, I've looked at this before and it has been sold out when I've tried to go ahead and purchase it, so I'm glad to see that it has been restocked. And this is a treatment that's supposed to repair and regenerate your nails. So again, along the same vein as the cuticle oil, this is something that I want to give a draw give a try. It gets pretty good reviews. It's almost full five stars, so that's pretty awesome. So the next item on my list is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder in a mini size. So I could try it without investing a lot of money in the full size. As you know, I have the Laura Mercier setting powder queued up once I finish this, which let me just show you. I'm really close. I only have a tiny bit left in here, and then I'll be breaking out that Laura Mercier. I probably am just going to hold this in my loves as a reminder that I want to try it out, but it's unlikely that I'll probably pick it up during this go-round because I do want to use that Laura Mercier product first. I try and use this section of their website to keep track of things that I've seen or that have been recommended to me that I really want to try out and I don't want to lose track of them. The next up is this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Okay, I know I had it my, on my list the earlier sale this year and I thought I put it in my cart and I didn't and I don't know what the heck I what happened. You know, I ran into a little problem when I was placing that order that I ended up with two of them in my cart. I only wanted one. I deleted one. Maybe it ended up deleting both of them. I don't know. My order came and I was like, are you kidding me? I don't have this. I was really disappointed. But I still want to really try this. And it is probably a really great time of year as we head into the fall and winter when it gets a little bit drier and your lips suffer a little bit, so this is something that is very high on my list. So next up, I have a couple things from Fenty, and let me go ahead and scroll down to the other item first, and we'll talk about that. This first one I want to talk about is this Invis Invisimat Blotting Powder. It comes in a really lovely compact, and it gets and it gets really good reviews. It absorbs the shine without um, adding any extra color to your face. I have recently uh, read an article about how um, as you get older you shouldn't put, use a colored powder on your face because it just makes it look cakey. You should stick to uh, translucent powders and I was like, oh yes. So this is on my list because I want it for my purse. I do have a current purse compact that I'm working on, uh, but this I'm queuing up for when that runs out. So what I like about this is it comes with a brush that is magnetized and absolutely just snaps into the bottom of the compact, and I love that. I love that system where you're going to have everything all together, and it's small and compact, and will work really beautifully in your purse. So that's why I have this this brush here on my list. It's the portable touch-up brush. It does not get very great reviews. It's just middle of the road reviews, but the convenience factor I think is is awesome. Then the last item from Fenty that I have on my list is the Stunna Lip Paint Longwear Fluid Lip Color and the the shade that I'm interested in is Uncuffed. It's like a rosy mauve. So I have the red one, and it's pretty awesome. I really like it. It's a really uni beautiful universal red shade. And this fall, they went ahead and released one, two, three, four more shades. I have that top, that red shade. And then they released like a nude, like a mauve tone, a brown tone, and a black. Uh, I think the the nude shade is going to be too light for me, and the uh, mauve tone is right in my wheelhouse. So that's why I'm interested in this product because I really like the red one that I have. I only wear it for special occasions, but it is comfortable and pretty well pretty long wearing. The next item on my list is this mini star 
eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona and I think the colors in here are stunning. So beautiful. Like really awesome. I know this palette is tiny because I have the uh, Mini Lila palette and it's tiny but I'm okay with that. For $25 I'm like yeah I'll get $25 worth of use out of it and I'm so impressed with these shadows that I'm super excited to dive into these other shadows. I think they're just gorgeous. And let's go ahead and look at these up close a little bit, these swatches. It has a gold, a dark brown, like a, uh, like a pinky shimmery shade, a nice mid-tone brown, and this gorgeous like duochrome blue brown shade. What, how are they describing that? Or are they even describing it? Orion, which is a green-brown duochrome. So next up is a lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't own any lip products from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't own anything from Charlotte Tilbury. If there are things you recommend I try from this line, go ahead and leave them in the comments below, and I will take a look at that. This shade, this is uh, Bond Girl, which is a natural berry red really is intriguing to me. I know everyone goes for pillow talk, but this is something that I've seen talked about a little bit as a really super wearable like red shade. So when you want to go red, it's a good option when you don't want to go really bright like like with this. So maybe this is more of like a work wearable shade. I'm interested in trying it. So many people really rave about the Charlotte Tilbury lip products, so that's on my list. Next up is this Erno Laszlo Multitask Eye Serum Mask. I think this was on my list from the last go round. I didn't purchase it. I want to keep tracking it. Uh, I have a couple eye masks that I still need to use up. So this is something that it's just kind of like a placeholder for me to try when I use up some of the products that I currently are working on. But it gets excellent reviews. And that is my most troublesome area. My under eyes are really starting to show my age. It's so sad. I just recently added this Bobbi Brown uh, palette to my list. It's the ultraviolet eyeshadow palette. I think this is so gorgeous. Kind of like taupey violets, which I love. This one, number two, Strange Magic. <gasps> I think that's so stunning. And it has some good basics. The brown, number three, is good. That electric plum, boy. Violet Hour. Oof. Yeah, there's some beautiful shades there. This is a definite maybe. And it gets really good reviews. This is $39. I might have to pick and choose because I do have a couple of palettes on my list. <laughs> Who's surprised by that? Not me. This is what makes me so happy. I love palettes because... They're just so inspiring. They inspire me to be more creative in my makeup application. The next item on my list is this Wander Beauty On The Glow Blush and Illuminator. It did win, it did win the Best of Beauty by Allure this year. And one end is like a cream stick blush. Here, let's get that. And the other end is a cream stick highlighter. And the shade I have that I think will work well for me is the Berry Whisper with the Nude Glow. The only other one that's not warm toned is this one, which is Soft Pink Nude Glow. And I think that pink is a little too bright. I think I'd look better with a little bit of more of a mauve shade. I think uh, cream blushes are extremely flattering for women as they get older. I think they look better on your skin than powder blushes. Does that mean I'll never wear powder blush blushes again? Of course not. I will still continue to wear powder blushes, but uh, I like having options, and I like the fact that this would be this would be great for traveling. You have uh, those double-ended sticks, so and it gets nice reviews. Um, it gets f four stars. So I don't always agree with this best in beauty award by Allure, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Okay. This palette, this Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Eyeshadow Palette, I think is gorgeous. 
it is a little bit of a neutral palette and a little bit more cool tone, which I appreciate so, so much. Let's look here at some of these swatches. I think this looks really pretty. So someone who was reviewing this palette uh, pointed out that if you covered up that uh, coral color, that it would be pretty much a dupe for uh, this Milani Soft and Sultry palette, uh, which is, of course, a fraction of the price. But upon inspecting it and having used this palette a little bit, I think that there's enough variation there that I would be willing to jump into the ABH Sultry Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm a little intrigued by that bloom color, which I think could maybe add a little twist to your look. So, I this is very likely will end up in my, uh, my actual shopping cart. The next item on here is the Dennis Gross uh, Skincare Hyaluronic Marine Do It Right Eye Gel. I've already used this, finished it up, would like to repurchase it. I do have a couple other eye creams that I'm using up. So I, this is just a placeholder for me so I don't forget. It was a really terrific eye cream and I'm definitely going back to repurchase that. However, there's something there that I want to try before that and it's this from Tatcha. It's the Pearl Tinted Eye Illuminating Treatment. So it comes in three different shades. I would definitely get the lightest shade. And what I read about this is for some people, it can be an eye cream and a concealer product all in one. Yeah, I said that. I'm all for that because I feel like sometimes when I put that concealer on, it is like just makes those under eyes look sad. And the reviews are really pretty awesome. This is something I want to try before I go back to my uh, Dennis Gross eye cream. Again, if you've tried any of these things that I'm looking at, I would love to hear what you have to say. So this next palette is somewhat of a placeholder. I really like these Marc Jacobs palettes. I have, which one do I have? I have this one with a purple. I have this one, this Frivolux, is that how you say it? Which I adore, it's very taupey with uh, that pop of purple, which is surprisingly wearable. But I look at this and I go, oh, this uh, neutral, this Glambition one is super pretty. So this is somewhat of a placeholder. I'm not sure I'll pick it up and actually, if I get that Natasha Denona palette, this may end up coming off my loves list, but it is there for now because I think it's an awesome neutral palette and I love the Marc Jacobs palettes, but I'm not sure it will actually make it for this go round. And the last item on my list is this set from Nude Sticks, Soft and Smoky set by Melissa Alatore. I've been interested in Nude Sticks. I haven't tried anything from this brand. And this is a pretty comprehensive like set that is would be a great like try me set for for you if you were interested in trying this brand. And I like traveling with stick products. I think they're really convenient to travel with. And I thought these colors were really terrific. Now, these first two colors, Raven and Purity, can be lip or cheek, lip and or cheek colors. And I think they're really stunning. And then the last four colors, Taupe, Nudity, Chocolate, and Twilight are shadow colors. And I think they are beautiful neutral shadow colors. So this is something I'm like, yeah, I could get down with this. I'm really interested in trying this brand, so this is on my list. Uh, definitely one of those palettes. I'm really thinking, I can't decide. You'll be surprised. So if you need additional inspiration for your shopping experience, I'm going to include a little playlist here that has uh, some fall trends, some fall makeup ideas that uh, you can check those out to get some additional inspiration for your shopping list. And if you are new to my channel and just stopping by for the first time, uh, 
I publish videos every Saturday morning and I'll include a link to last week's video right here. And I hope you'll hit that little B icon right there and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I'll see you real soon. Bye.